guys and welcome to the 11th episode of Go to Platinum as support. On this game, well, I couldn't play support, I had to play jungler because, well, I don't know, everyone wants to play support nowadays. Well, no, I was unlucky. Well, I wanted to try Zack in ranked games to see if I was any good with him. Well, I'm not that good yet, but it's a pretty OP champion and I was able to do some good work with him. Well, uh, I ganked bots early, they, for the advantages I didn't die, because I had my passive. I was with, on a pre-made with my with Brand, Brand was the support. Uh, well, that Annie was fed, was getting some kills, she was way better than Victor uh, and unfortunately well, she got a few kills on him and well we were having a really hard time but bot was doing well that brand was getting a lot of damage to Jarvan was a monster, fucking monster he was playing really well and I believe our combo was better than theirs in late in the later stages of the game because of my he Jarvan's ultimate and uh, Brand's ultimate too. No, but things weren't going that well. We were losing team fights. Victor was getting caught all the time. Uh, I couldn't do shit. But we had some pretty good fights though. Here, for example, I went for Annie to zone them, I didn't want them to get to deal much damage and because of that my team managed to kill two of them uh, and I even got a kill on Annie, uh, it was a nice shutdown, lots of gold for me and some for my, uh, some for my team. Well. Even though that happened, they were ahead and they had a fucking Amumu that was landing some good ultimates, but they, uh, it, they weren't as ahead as they were. And when Jarvan comes, Jarvan kills, Jarvan gets whatever he wanted. He was playing as a damage dealer. Yeah. It was good, the game was turning and we were starting getting ahead, the, and be, mainly because Annie had most of the kills and by shutting her down, by killing her uh, first, targeting her, we were getting their damage by a lot, all their damage, damage was immediate, immediately gone. Well, team fights. I, I always went for their backline, for Annie and for their vein. Thank God Zack has this passive or I would have died so much more. Yeah, G4 was the guy. He, <laughs> without him, we would lose the game. He was the best in our team. He sacrificed for us, he won some team fights for us. Yeah, he was the MVP here. I just did my my job. <laughs> Slingshotting myself on their face, ulting and praying. <laughs> yeah. And by now we were ahead because any once we get our items, she can't burst us. Only, uh, only our carries, and we won the game after winning that team fight. We were able to push and won. Well, back to support role and to Nami. You know, I've been having great results with her. The having great games with her, and here I helped my Vayne get two kills. But yep. She eventually died, but Lux came. She was brand from, from last game, she was my pre-mate. We, we had some good games. 
his only problem is his decision making and because he was really focused and listening we were yeah we weren't struggling and we had a pretty good graves too yeah as you can see here he's fighting two on one and he got two kills yeah our vein was off decent not that good but yeah, yeah. Just watch it, I'm gonna sh shut down myself for a little while and you'll see that eventually they managed to get some kill on us but you know, the thing is when you have a Lux and a Vayne on your team you're probably going to win the game if to manage to get the late game you have the better scaling team right and yeah that's what happened Mokai scales well he is a pretty good tank late game yeah we, we were winning team fights I was landing a few good bubbles though it wasn't my best game as Nami but yeah it was decent it, for gold, it, it's good. It's not the best I've seen or played, but it's good. And yeah, we won the game and I was at 74 LP. But now, let's go down. Yeah, and you know, you have a good game, then you will lose a few. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> and I tilt a lot because of that. Yeah, well, I had the Twisted Fate ADC, I went with Nami again, I didn't like his pick, I think if he has his skills he can deal some damage, but I believe he will, if he doesn't play very well, his late game won't be that good, even with his ultimate, but he is too squishy as an ADC and yeah, he will die. Well, we got... Our early game was beyond perfect. We were getting kills in every lane. We were winning every single lane. And this is the truth. It was getting so... It was easy, yeah? It, they couldn't kill me. We were getting so many kills. And yet, something happened late, later. Amumu started using his ultimate decently, and we were getting picked one by one. After that, we were not protecting our turrets well, and they had a fucking Yasuo, which I hate because it blocks my ultimate, and I can't ult use my ultimate on Misfortune because of his swing ball. I can't. Yeah, I can do nothing against her. They were winning every single team fight after minute 20. <sighs> yeah, just see that. I don't know how Windwall blocks my ultimate from the side. And probably on purpose, but I hate that. And I, I couldn't block Misfortune's ult ultimate, and because of that, yeah, we ended up losing the team fight. Yeah, it was kind of my bad. I didn't know he could block. We both could block from the side, and yeah, we lost the team fight, and we lost the game. Yay! <laughs> Minus 17 LP. Well, it could be worse. I was bronze silver at the start of the season. Bronze, bronze two or three. I don't, I don't know. Well, another game. And I wanted to try Brand in the ranked game, and it was a poor decision. Yeah, I fed. Like, let me tell you, I'm sorry, but I fed. Uh, thankfully, misfortune wasn't that bad, you know. She dealt a lot of damage, she got some kills in the early game, but it 
it wasn't enough. The, we had problems on, on the other lanes. Uh, our enemy, my pre-made, wasn't doing that well. Uh, we were not focusing the right ones. Why didn't we go for Zack and instantly kill him? We, Poor decision making, and uh, I was playing like shit. Yeah, because if you don't hit your W's and Q's and D's and R's with brand, you are you suck. You suck. and I did. I, my positioning was poor. I will. They had the vein and the bar, and I was always hugging a fucking wall. And if you're near a wall against them, well, you're dead. You're dead. You know, our lead scene was crap. He hardly ganked. Their Zack was, was good. But Vagar, well, Vagar, there, there isn't much to know as a Vagar. He wasn't the best of them. Uh, Bard was. Bard was clearly the MVP of this game. And he raped us. Yeah. We helped this ADC get, get a lot of kills. And because of that, we were losing the game. And to be honest, it was kind of my fault. If I had picked Nami, he wouldn't do shit. Well, but at least. My pre-made got a pentakill on their entire team, which was good. At least that. But what happened next? Yeah, just watch. Bad Baron. We get the Baron. I don't know why any flash inside. We should have just ran with what we had. Then they engage with. Without Baron Buffett, we could, we could not peel for misfortune and we lost the game shortly after. Yeah, well guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, starting next video, I will be playing on my new computer, which is way better. We, I will stream, I will start my streams next week too. So check out watch it we'll try to do some fun stuff other than playing ranked games i want you to comment and say what you want me to play and with which builds yeah if you want me to play brand adc i will play brand adc or well say something she like soraka soraka tank soraka adc mm. yeah there are a lot of sh <laughs> weird ways of playing to play some champions well see you guys i hope you liked it please subscribe like share with your friends anything to help the channel see you next time have a great weekend guys bye bye